Now, once again, I am moving into my aircraft from a distance. It's darker. We're about just a couple of minutes away from near nighttime. And there we are coming up to it. The airport here is Fly Tampa's um, Vienna 2 for FSX, which is one of my favorites. I love it. And the vehicles, a lot of the vehicles are AES. And here comes one right now. Okay, that was a little too close. Alright, back to the library. I like to do things like this. I like to get the scenery set. I want to see the vehicles next to it. I want to see... I want to use my paint exactly the way I know other people are going to use my paint. I want to make sure that certain things don't happen. Uh, there are glitches in some aircraft that when you get something too close to it, or an effect too close to it, all of a sudden something happens with your paint. So, let's go in here. Or I'm just going to cut through. And the bottom seams. Now look at the bottom rivets, and again we're on the light side of the aircraft now. And the video is probably not showing it that much, because in video the gradient kind of really gets distorted. There's just way too much data for it to handle. And the tail. Again, you can see here that the bump mapping is really working, and on this side you can barely see it because the lighting. And that again is because there's nothing there, there's no color. More shine, and you can see the rivets working with all sorts of different colors. They just come right through. Nothing is distorted, nothing is hidden. Well, here come the cleaners. And even the APU exhaust. What I try to do is use a few basic colors for my overall paint. And then I wanted to have one particular color to stand out for certain trim. Right, watch your step. And that just, for me, adds a little bit of something here and there. You know, so when you're trying to think of a design for your aircraft, personally, I play around with music. Uh, I'm a wannabe musician, like so many. But I don't like to listen to other people's music when I'm trying to record something. I rather do it myself and if I listen to something too long I'm gonna probably adapt to that style or have that subconsciously in my head and I don't want that and it's the same with paints I don't want to look at a paint and say hmm I liked what they did there but again to each their own so do what you have to do I like the PMDG default livery because if you look at the engine here and even the fuselage you'll see that they too use a gradient. Using a gradient especially here on the engines is very difficult and we're going to cover that very extensively later. Now look at the lighting here under the wing as we go back and forth. The shine, yes. The rivets, yes. But I want you to notice the different shadowing in the shine or the way that it changes and again this isn't speculars this is all bump mapping the speculars and the alphas do make up your shine but not all of it now are you seeing how that shadow moves back and forth let's go to this side it's a little more prominent the under wings have that perfect level of shine to where you could really see this just came out of the wash. There it is. Watch the shadowing. Do you see that, how it's happening? The curvature that I put on the flaps with the pump mapping is really just to give you that cool shine. Alright, so let's uh, get a little darker here and let's uh, push back. Here we go. Now we're really close to the dark, and you're seeing a lot more of the the dirt shining through, or a dirt look to it. You have a dark color. The rivets on this side look a lot more embossed, like they're embedded to a point. The further you get away from it, um, 
the more crisp it looks, or I won't say more crisp, but you can still see that crispness. And the color is working. And sometimes colors just don't work. You know, if you use like an orange or red, well, your time of day is going to really mess you up. That I liked. Let's see if we can get that back. Nope. If you rewind that though, as we turn out in front of the nose, you'll see a nice gleam come right off of them rivets. Now for your first few paints, you may want to keep it as simple as possible until you're comfortable with the paint kit that you're doing. Um, the engines and pylons, for example, maybe the pylons all one color, the engines a different color. It really depends. I mean, right out of the gate, you can create some really nice things. Now, my teal lighting, I did a little bit of alpha work to get my DA to shine a little bit. Flying it at night is something I prefer to always test, especially with your tail lighting and your side lighting. I mean, there are a lot of paints out there. Winglets aren't going to match up. The sides might be something totally different or upside down. Um, you want to test everything. Write down what you're doing, you know, what you're going to be looking for, because it's hard to remember once you're in the sim. aircraft and who doesn't like some good runway lights behind it well that's about it we will cover some more in the next tutorial we'll get right into Photoshop and I will show you what things you need to have installed for working with FSX see you then